Packers start for the Green Gales in Game 2 had them down 7-0 after one period. Game 3 would not be a repeat performance. It all starts with Zach Bryant scoring a pair of early goals, 2-0 a minute 40 in. Third goal of the night, Jeremy McWater surrounded at first, but the moment Oakfield gives him some space, Matt Shand will find him. McWaters fires past Bailey Brown. Connor Van Rin hits a streaky Nick Ribka as he heads towards goal. A nice finish, and it's now 4-0 for the Green Gales. Later in the period, Bryce Tomey on a break. The buzz player leaves early and interferes, so Tomey will get a second chance here on the penalty shot, but Brown will keep him off the scoreboard. Oakville had numerous power play chances on the night, including a 5-on-3 for a full two minutes, but win hard to beat in this one. Green Gales go up 6 to nothing here. Tolmy is going to set up Matt Shand, who had a big night. Five points for him. The Buzz will finally get the next two goals of the game. First, it's Adam Wolf, and then Nate Braniff. Oakville feeling some momentum, and there's still more than half the game to go in this one, but the feeling will not last long. 40 seconds after the Braniff goal, Shand, a flip pass to McWaters. He fires from close range to make it 7-3. Next up, it's Adam Peroni. He had one goal already. Some deft footwork here to lose his man before scoring his second goal of the night. Matt Pogue's going to outrace everyone here and whips a shot past win to cut the lead to five goals headed to the third period where things got a bit rough and tumble. Shan picks up a double minor here for checking from behind and gets drilled by Marley Angus who gives him a couple of shots while he's on the ground. Battle for the ball here. The call is the Green Gales handle the ball in the crease. So Oakville awarded a penalty shot now. Eddie Renault, he'd be stopped by Wynn. Both goaltenders stopping the penalty shots on the night. He had a heck of a game Wynn did in number three, that's for sure. Goal scoring on the night, rounded out by Tyler Eames, who takes the pass from Shandon, scores 9-3 is the final as the Green Gales take the series lead and put that 20 minutes of game number two in the history books. And speaking of history, alumni Adrian Sorchetti, John LaFontaine, and Mark Matthews all members of the two-time defending Saskatchewan Rush bring the NLL title cup to the game. And Matthews also bringing along the World Indoor Lacrosse Championship he won last year. Yeah, right from the start we knew that we needed a better start from uh, Game 2. Um, obviously, 7 nothing in the first period, we can't handle that. Um, we didn't have enough to come back, but we decided this game that we need to go right from the start. There's no sleeping. Uh, we got to help Smiley out. Pedal penalties really hurt us because um, it shifts the momentum like a big time. It gives the other team a very good scoring chance to, you know, to pot one. And so yeah, we can't going down the road. We can't take as many um, selfish penalties.